What is a toxic reminder? It is an activity or entity strongly attached to a negative neural connection of a traumatic event or degrading energy. It is the assimilated process of coating sugar with poison, honey with poison, or cat outfit with alien creature for instance, how they happen and why. Whenever it is practiced or interacted with, the link is activated to the toxic source. The problem is that anything and anyone can be a toxic reminder of something no matter how healthy or good that thing or entity is. For example, having a car accident in a certain place will imprint deeply on the environmental memory of that place. There will be a ghostly duplicated copy of that horrible event happening repeatedly again and again over there. Which means going to visit that place again is like bringing that tragedy back to life. That is perhaps similar to re-examining it. It will affect your mental health negatively. Let us assume you were eating chips while in before having that accident. The circumstances and conditions that happened before, while, or shortly after the tragic event work as neural links and connections that are attached to the main traumatic event. If you can somehow disable these neural pathways, then the toxic reminder will stop working like when the electrical cords are cut off and unplugged from the outlet. It is more than to remind you of something. A toxic reminder can actually instantly change your energetic vibrations depending on the toxicity level and or your immunity strength. You may experience a severe mental damage if you keep exposing yourself to toxic reminders let it be whether humans, animals, or inanimate objects. Some other side effects including a temporary blurry vision, body inflammation, and weakened focus. You have to know all of what your toxic reminders are to be cautious about them and avoid them. Otherwise, you keep draining your personal energy and allow the archons to get access to your siphon energy, which will lead ultimately to suffering and struggling in life. Some people deliberately expose themselves to toxic persons or things, such as falling in love with the wrong one, because they are seeking relief from their past childhood traumas. But that way you enliven them and increase the chances of experiencing adulthood trauma as well. Therefore, feed your right wolf. People who smoke may do that to seek relief from stress for instance. But that won't resolve it actually this way. It will aggravate the problems even further. Stress can be fixed by mindfulness and relaxation. Not smoking. Likewise, feeding your reptilian self by supporting toxic sources will create a brain network that works like a matrix in which it becomes difficult to escape. That is like building your own prison by yourself. Do the thing that sets you free which is based on healthy and positive reminders. Know what are they and stick to them. If you eat pizza before having sex with a toxic person who makes you feel tired, then the pizza may over time become a toxic reminder. And whenever you eat it will make you experience tiredness and fatigue. Unlike if you eat it before and or after sex with a person who is a healthy reminder. It will make you feel vital and energetic. The things that happen shortly before or after an activity are what going to be called the reminders whether healthy or toxic. In addition, the things that occur during the activity also work as reminders. So be mindful of these time lapses. Another example is that if ocean waves sounds make you feel relaxed and healthy, then if you study while listening to them, then studying won't become stressful but rather relaxing and healthy. Just like listening to these beautiful sounds of nature, food can become a toxic reminder if we don't know how to make a good use of the energy we get out of it. For example, if you eat rice with chicken daily and after each time you overwork out or do anything that is excessive or exaggerated, then this type of food meal may become a toxic reminder in the future in this case. Because if the food energetic consumption input is less than the general energetic production output, then it will create imbalance. Which in turn in the future if you eat it, the chicken and rice will eat you instead. You won't feel like you got any energy from them but rather negativity. That's how some people go to hell. Most of their nutritional intakes are toxic reminders. 
in contrast if it is the other way around, which will make eating it brings positivity and fortune. In further explanation, if you get used to eat popcorn while watching a movie in the movie theater, then eating it solely at home without watching or doing anything else will make you get excited and improve your mood. Not to forget to mention the tangible benefits you gain from eating it in terms of mood enhancement, which are other than the advantages you obtain from the positive reminder itself that is in regard with the movie theater. Unlike if you sit and eat popcorn in the middle of battlefield for instance. If you repeat that many times, then it may be a toxic reminder due to the violent nature of battles. One more example is that if you specialize a house room special for practicing meditation and doing nothing else in it except that, then the mere entrance to it will make you enter a meditative state. That explains why it is unfavorable for people to talk inside religious institutions like sacred temples in order to preserve the energetic whirlpool of prayer within that place. Talking there can add reminders to it, which in turn impedes the process of maintaining the energetic quality of worshipping within that holy site. There are many toxic and healthy reminders out there. Each person has specific and different sets of toxic and healthy reminders. Finally, the goal is to keep toxic reminders at bay and make everything in your life a healthy reminder by living well. Thank you.